Here's a very interesting quirk I found about size of. Um, let's say we have here an integer called x, and what I want is first print the size of that integer, increment it by one, and then print its value. Simple enough, right? So if I go here and uh, type the code for it, right? So here I have the code for it. Simple enough. We have just the size percent LLU because we get a 64-bit integer. Um, and then here percent D for the X, in this case size of X, and then we're incrementing after printing out the size. So if I try to run this, nice and simple, we get size four, four bytes, and the value is six because we first, we first uh, initialize the value of X to be five and then we increment it, simple enough. Now, what happens if I try to move this plus plus, right? I don't want it to be here on just its own line. It's kind of ugly. I might want to move it here, right? So if I do plus plus X, so I first increment it and then uh, spit out the value to print F so that I can print the updated value of it. So when I run this, I'm gonna get six again. Nice. What if I move it instead of here, I move it onto this guy because it should be the same, right? If I move this, X plus plus from here to here, I should still get six. So if I try to run this, strangely enough, I do get five. Why is that? Why didn't it increment our value? As a matter of fact, size of is a compile time operator. That means that basically whatever you use size of on the compiler tries to before executing the program of course the compiler tries to figure out what's the size of that expression and sort of um replace the size of call with a, an actual value so for example when we actually uh, compile the program inside uh, its executable this guy this size of turns into a four inside the actual executable. So when you may execute it, we just get, we get, we get just the size four printed on the screen without the uh, variable getting incremented because as you notice, this guy actually replaced our whole expression. In short, size of does not execute its uh, expression from inside it. It just kind of tries to find out before actually executing it. So this plus plus X doesn't get executed and we don't get a six printed on the screen. So you can see this happen even if we use a function. For example, if I have here this sort of function, right? It's a bit weird, I know, but all it does is basically taking a uh, pointer, it increments the value at the pointer and returns its value. That's what it does. And if I try to call this function inside of size of, if I go func of, let's say the address of x, then if I try to run this, you'll notice I still only get five, even though technically this guy got called in our code and this should have incremented our X. Even if I say, let's say uh, star P equals 10. Again, it should increment it, but it does not. We still get five on the screen. That's because the size of a function is the size of the return type of the function, which is our int here. That's why we're getting four, by the way, but that's also why this guy doesn't get executed. Just kind of, the size of just kind of goes, oh, so the signature of this guy is this guy. That means that we are returning an int. That means that we're returning four bytes. That, that means that I can actually just replace this whole thing with a four. And when we try to execute the code, well, what do you know? Our X did not get touched. So this is just a small quirk. Uh, like keep in mind when you use size of like that, but I'm sure you won't be using it. It's just kind of interesting that to know that size of actually tries to figure out the size uh, at compile time, right? So I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.